I am delighted to be joined by Shamrock Rovers manager Stephen Bradley following their one 0 victory against St Pat's. Stephen, you came into tonight's games top of the table, and that's where you remain after tonight. Yeah, we're happy. We we played well, created chances, and, and go away with clean sheet. Pat's are good side, so it was it was good to, to come and get the win. You mentioned after the Finn Harris victory on Monday night, you were delighted with the way the players bounced back after a disappointing defeat against Bowles and a draw against Dundalk. It's clear to see you carry that into tonight's game once again. Yeah, there was nothing after we played balls. We felt we were good and sending off Hortus. Dundalk, it was an even game and Finn Harris we went and took care of the game and won. And tonight was a big one. We need to come in and make sure we are and, and we did that. How impressed in particular in the first half of your when you're a style of football, some of your stick pass and the likes of Greg Bulger doing a lot of the donkey work, but the likes of Trevor Clark in particular look really strong, and the two Aaron's and McIniff and Green also look very strong. Yeah, we played some really good football in the first half. I think we created some really good chances. Uh, second half became a bit more scrappy, and we had to fight it out, but we showed a uh, different side to us in the second half, but overall, we're really happy. Looking ahead to your next league assignment, Saigo Rovers now come to Tyler Stadium next Friday. We've seen Sam Bones come off the bench there, he made a late cameo appearance. What's it like for you to see a little bit more action next week and also Eaton Boyle who didn't make the match day squad today? No, we sit down on Monday, we go through the squad and we look at what team we feel can win the game on Friday. That's the way it is. Just a quick word for your fans, well filling out the away end, it's fantastic to see the travelling sport in strong numbers. It's brilliant, I think, I read a stat today, we've been involved in the, the highest attendance each week and that's a testament to our fans, they show up in numbers at home and they do that away from home as well. Uh, they've been brilliant with us and, and thankfully we're giving us up the shell belt as well. And finally, how much sick is Aaron Green going to be in for the training over the next couple of weeks after that shocking miss in the second half? Yeah, I don't think he realised he had as much time as he did uh, when the keeper was out of goal. I thought Aaron's all-round game was brilliant. Uh, he ran the two centre-half ragged all night and, and uh, on another night he walks away with a hat-trick. Stephen, thanks very much for joining us. Thank Cheers, Stephen. I'm delighted to be joined by Saints past manager Harry Kenny following their 1-0 defeat to Shamrock Rovers Stephen at Richmond Park. Harry, it's never lies to lose a derby, especially at home. Yeah, it's very disappointing actually, very disappointing result. Um, the display was only okay. We uh, started very slow. They started well for 20-25 minutes and it took us that length of time to get into the game. Um, the penalty was a bit of a disappointment, it was definitely a penalty. And uh, it was an unfortunate slip by Lee which led to the penalty. But at the end of the day it was only a penalty between the two teams. Did you feel maybe you might have had more of the ball and had your kind of better spells of dominance in the second half, but your best chances came in the first half, particularly to Mickey Drennan and Brenda Mila? Yeah, they had two very good chances, and uh, at this level you'd have to be taking them chances to have any chance of winning games. But um, with a fair bit of the ball, actually, as you say, in the second half, and I thought our second half display was, was a little bit better than the first half, um, but a little bit disappointed the way we started the game. I think as well as one thing that you touched on after the fourth game when you kind of felt how unfit Chris Farris was when he came back from Aberdeen. Do you still think it's taken a little bit more time than people might have anticipated for Chris to kind of settle back in? I look, Chris has a few setbacks, you know, prior to coming to us and uh, these things take time. When you come back from the UK, you know, you, you need to get settled and sorted and it just takes time and we have to just have to wait for him. Um, I didn't think he was too bad tonight. I played quite well and his, his fitness is absolutely improving every week, so he'll be fine. Fantastic crowd here tonight, Harry, over 4,500, added on to over 3,500 the court game, and even the Finn Harps game of 1,700 was a great turnout for Monday night. It's great to see the interactions coming back in with the community. Yeah, it's fantastic, and we have to be um, doing our side on the pitch as well to keep them interested in the games. So um, let's hope the next time they're here we have a, a, a winning result for them. Of course, the positives we're taking from the game as always is being one of them definitely with the return of Dean Clark for the season. Yeah, it's, it, Dean's been out, um, where he went over on his ankle a couple of weeks back, so Dean will give us an extra bit of pace up around the top end of the pitch. But um, no, we're, we're not in too bad a shape. We go to Waterford next week and see what can we get. And you mentioned that game of Waterford away next week in the RSC. They came off a bad defeat against Dundalk tonight, so they'll be highly motivated not to let have two bad results in a row. Yeah, they will, yeah, and they're a good team. Um, I was surprised at that result tonight considering Dundalk were down a few players but um, Waterford are always good at home so we'll see what happens. Harry, thanks very much for joining us. You're welcome. Here with Ian Morris, the Shelburne manager after their 2 0 win over Athlone. How, how did you find your performance tonight? Yeah, I thought it was very good. Um, everything that we've been working on midweek um, came to fruition tonight. I thought we moved the ball well, defended well and created a lot of chances. Um, Athlone were, were good, very good. Um, you can see why they've caused, caused teams problems already this season and why they will cause teams problems. So we had to be uh, 
we had to be bright, we had to be alive, and we had to be prepared for for when they got on top. So, really pleased. Good win coming away here. Uh, they won their first three games of the league of the season. So, really pleased with me. And the ter- crucial turning point was the sending off. How was your point of view on that? I I think Conan's fired the ball into Killer, and he's had a, he's done well to get his first touch. And the defenders dragged him back. So, look, he left the he left the ref with no no decision to make. So, happy. Bounced back well from your defeat last time out. You must be happy with that, eh? Very happy. The lads showed a lot of character, showed the desire, and um, look, that hopefully that'll kick start us now and we'll start going on a little bit of a run. And it's Wexford up next now. It's a game that you. Well, we've we've bowled on Monday night in the Leinster oh, Senior Cup, so we'll we'll be in tomorrow. We'll prepare properly for that, and then uh, we'll look at Wexford after that. But we we'll focus on bowls Monday. Yeah, that's grand. Thank you very much. Thanks very much. Cheers. I'm here with Harry Butler, the Atlanta manager, after their two 0 defeat at the hands of Shelburne. You must be happy enough with your team performance at the end of the game. Happy enough with the performance. Very disappointed with the result. Uh, I think we should have probably got something out of the game. Uh, got a huge hole for a penalty in the first 15 minutes. Uh, you know, it was clipped in the, in the box just as he was torn out. And obviously goals change games. And then you know we're down to 10 men in the, in the, in the second half. And you know, the, uh, I, I thought, yeah, it was a free, but a red card was harsh to say the least. Yeah, it seemed a bit of a harsh decision, I. The kind of change the game then, and especially then when you can see the second goal from the free kick, then it must have been kind of made it harder for you then, and then have made it more disappointing, I suppose. Look, the, the dressing room was gutted, and that it's a good thing because I mean to say, if, if it had been last year, you would have been saying, you know, 2 0 would have been a good, a good defeat, but we're just gutted that we didn't get something out of the game, and you know, it just shows you the confidence the lads have in the dressing room. Shells are, you know, the favourites uh, to win the league. I'm, I'm not going to be. Anyway, behind the door, but I think you know, I think we probably seventy percent of the possession in, in in the in the first half. Unfortunately, we did take our two or three chances in goal, and they got one chance and, and took it. You know, that's football. And that's two defeats now in a row. But you played well in both games, so well, so yeah, we bounce back, hoping to bounce back next week against Bray, I suppose. Yeah, we're lo- looking forward to, to, to the game. Obviously, uh, taking it one game one game at a time. We prepare for uh, Bray next week and see how it takes us. Okay, let's go. Thank you very much. Thanks. By both man, you're kicked on. For top to third game, difficult conditions. A flat first half. You get you came back second half. How do you feel overall after the game first done tonight? Um, I think we dropped two points. Not necessarily because of um, we, we deserve the points in terms yeah. of our performance, but um, we're at home. Um, Derry lost a lot of key players from their team that were, has, has played in the previous games. We've lost two of our, you know, our, our leading goal scorer, um, Keith Buckley, you know, and. Uh, you know, disappointed that, that we've drawn um, mm. at home. Disappointed not to not to play in the manner that we can play. Uh, like you said, it was, it was a flat first half performance. Also, obviously, you must be proud of the way you did react. Though, I mean, at the end of the day, like uh, Connor Sherry, Sherry made some great saves for Derry. It was a good reaction from your players in the second half, especially with the changes that you made. Yeah, uh, I, yeah, I can give the boys credit to, mm. to some, some extent because because mm. they dug it out. They, they mm. didn't roll over. Um, mm. In fact, the, the goal going one nil down helped us. Mm. So um, it gave us a little reminder that we were playing a game and, and, and we created some, some chances. Peter Cherry makes a, mm. makes a world-class save um, from, I think it's Ali Ragba. You know? So um, I, think, I think we could have won the game. Whether we deserve to win or not is the battle. And there's a final question. Obviously, you said you've lost two key players there. Is there any update as to when they could possibly be back for, your, for yourself? Yeah, well, a bit of luck they'll be back next week yeah. uh, for, for a trip down to Torrance Cross. Right, well, cheers, right. thank you. Cheers, thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Um, I'm to be joined by Declan Devine here. Derry City Bar, a lot of injuries uh, coming into the match. Declan, are you very, very happy with the result at the end of the day? Oh, I'm disappointed with them, seeing that the result happened all one or all, but the conditions kind of were surrealist. It was very difficult hmm. trying to get out of our own half. Um, but as I say, with, with the, the injuries and the, the suspension of Jimmy McDonough, we had, we had a lot of players playing tonight for the first time in the league. And to be honest, both humans were very good in the second half. I thought we were very good in the first half. So I think share this board is probably a fair result. Um, any update then on any of the players come back then for your next game? Well, hopefully. I think uh, that for so early in the season, they have three games in the week, was mm. probably probably still on, on, on quite a lot of players mm. within the league. I know Keith was down a few players tonight as well. And I think, you know, such an, an early phase of the season, they, they, they have three games, it was difficult in terms of players picking up injuries and knocks, but 
We're down four or five tonight, but we'll hopefully we'll get them ready for next week. No problem, and for and we've got to praise Connor Terry before some absolute fantastic saves in the second half. He was excellent, and to be fair, he's probably earned his point tonight. The save in the first half from a free kick mm. was top quality, um, and again, he's, he's so calm under pressure, and he brings a very calm and influence to what we are as a relatively young side. But you know, he's he's been a breath of fresh air since he's come in, and you know, just a light up for him tonight. No, oh, thanks very much. Cheers. Just to get up, man. Hi. Uh, Jack, test the conditions tonight. Yeah, it was a tough night for um, both teams. Thought the conditions are very tough in playing with the wind, the pitch. Just the ball seemed to bobble around a lot for the game, so I think the draw was probably a fair result in the end. I think Longford started well the first 20 minutes, but I think then we matched them, so take a draw, you know? Yeah, and obviously Longford were very impressed in that first half. What did you make of them? Did you think they were similar enough to what Charles threw, up, threw against you last week? Yeah, I thought they were good on the ball, but I think we sort of let them play. Um, we stood off a bit then when we started pressing and making the keeper kick it out. We started to win a bit more in the second balls, but when we did step off another day, they could have uh, had a few more chances, but I thought they didn't really have too many chances in the end, so I thought we might them well enough. And yeah, obviously in the second half we saw a completely different Cabin Dealey side. I was just talking to Jack Watson there. He wasn't in the dressing room during the halftime. Yeah. Was there I suppose, a few choice words spoken at halftime? Yeah, well there was between ourselves, the players and the manager, but we knew it wasn't good enough. Um, from the start we st- uh, took a step back off them instead of taking a step forward. So second half we knew after last week we could, get, could get back into the game after going down a goal. So this week we tried to do the same, we kept our heads up, kept going. And we could have ended up, could have, could have ended up winning the game in the end. So. Take a yeah, and maybe you're a little bit disappointed that you couldn't come out of the game with three points in the end. Yeah, we are, but that's a good thing now. Coming to the change, you know, disappointed uh, with a draw rather than not winning it. But like even Rob Manley could have had a penalty shot at the end. But listen, we'll take the draw. It's a long season, so we'll go again next week against Strad and try to get the three points there. Yeah, and look, that's four points out of the, I suppose, the opening three games. Um, I suppose you must be absolutely delighted with um, how things have gone in the first three games of the season. Yeah, but. to be honest, performance has been really good so far. Um, against Bray we even performed well for the first hour, 70 minutes and then we sort of put our heads down, didn't get the result but since then we've been unbeaten in three, we've won two and uh, drawn one so so far we're going well and hopefully we can bring it the next week and try to keep that momentum going. Yeah and what's morale in the camp like obviously it's still a very young squad, I was speaking to Marty Waters last week and you know he was saying that a win like that against Shells this was really, you know, boosting morale in the camp. So what's, I suppose, the benefit of a result like that against Longford coming back the way it is? Yeah, uh, it really keeps the morale and the team spread high because that's twice we've come down, uh, came back from a goal down. So just shows that throughout the season we can match that. We do go down early, but uh, spirits are high at the minute. Um, and everyone's enjoying their football. We've a good, good group of lads, so long may it continue, really. Yeah, and look, obviously next week it's a trip away to draw the United. Obviously you beat them in the League Cup last week, yeah. but before that you actually drew them too well. Are you maybe confident enough going into that game? Obviously you're two games unbeaten against the Drugs. Yeah, we're confident going into the game as we are with every game, even against Shells last week. They were the favourites, but we were confident going in. And I think you have to be in this league. I think the standard is everyone similar enough. Um, so you have to go into the game with confidence. Next week we'll be on to try and win the game and the solid draw, so it should make for a good match. Look, you feel the Jack Watson after this was a challenging enough uh, game against Lamford Town, won all uh, difficult conditions. Uh, Jack, what you make again? Yeah, look, it was good conditions, you know, but it's, it's, it's the same for both teams. You know, we both had to go out there and try and make, try and make the most of the game. You know, we said that after the game, first half, we kind of, kind of gave them a bit, of, a bit of freedom, but we changed in the second half, we were up there, and then so look, we, went and we, we got the goal. and. So it's, there wasn't there wasn't that many chances that we, we conceded, you know. So look, we're just going to build on that. Look, we've got to try away next week, so we're just going to start building on the performance. Yeah, and look, how testing was the first half or in the second half in terms of the conditions on the pitch? Obviously, we saw a lot of I suppose brown patches on the pitch. Looked like it wasn't you know anywhere near as a conducive to good football. Yeah, look, it's it's tough to get the ball down when when the conditions are like that, but like. So you just have to make do with what you've got out there. And um, I thought, especially the second half, the lads, we all got together. So we pushed on. We, we showed how good of a team we could be when we when we, when we get together. And so you know, I was like, the lads, the lads very high and all the lads are just sticking together. So it's good to see the second half was, was a bit better performance. So we still as team staying there and improving. Yeah, and what was said during half time? Obviously, you know, Longford dominated for large spells in the mm-hmm. first half. You came out like a completely different side. What was said during the break? 
Um, to be honest, I don't know myself. I was, I was um, out warming up at halftime when John came on in the second half. But like, just imagine what the lads were saying in there that they needed to pick it up, they needed to get into their face. As I said, we gave them a bit too much freedom in the first half, I thought. Um, but we seemed to correct that. Um, Johnny came in as well in midfield with myself and thought we'd tidy things up a little bit. Um, and then we were very solid going forward. Yeah, and maybe I suppose looking back on the game itself. Obviously, you know, the second half there was a lot of chances for yourself. You may be a little bit disappointed you couldn't get three points in the end. Yeah, look, we did create a couple more chances in the, in the second half. Uh, as I said, I don't think we were, we were, um, we can see the money either. Um, but I think Rob had a great show for a penalty in the second half. But no, I couldn't really see it properly, but it seemed like he might have came straight through the back one. And um, he's saying it's a definite penalty one there. But look, these, we see last weekend, she hasn't worked out for us. Um, this week it didn't, but well, you're just going to have to take a chance when it comes to us and hopefully next week we get a couple more chances and we, we, um, we take them. And look, that's tr uh, four points from your opening three games now. Are you happy enough with the start? Obviously it was you know, a very difficult opening on paper anyway. Yeah, I think we were all kind of, we just, we're just a newish team, so the first game was always going to be a test. Um, second game then against Shells, I thought everyone was excellent. Um, we all stuck together and again in, the, in this game, um, particularly in the second half, um, it, was, it was a great performance again. Look. At this point, not to get to three points, but it's another point on the board, and it keeps us moving up, and we're going in the right direction. We had a win against Strat, then the Jordan League as well, so that's three games unbeaten. So just got to keep building on that and uh, going forward. Lovely. And finally, obviously, draw it away next week. Mm -hmm. Beat them, as you just mentioned, one 0 in the cup. Obviously, I suppose you started in that game as well. Are you looking forward to going up to the United Park again? Oh yeah, back up there again. Look, could be a different team that they're going to put out. Well, look, anyone, any team that's that's going to be put in front of us, are going to give it their all. Just just go up there. Hopefully, just go up there and get the three points. Come home. It's always good to go up there. But um, look, we'll just get into training again tomorrow morning. And then we've got the week coming up, so we're just going to look forward to the game.